I am not a costume. That, that was the first three seconds of the video. Sorry to land a spoiler this early, but here's the last ten seconds. <laughs> Jason, you say? That's an interesting name. I hope you haven't appropriated it from Western culture. Or are you just using the acronym of Ju July, August, September, October, November? Don't you have your own calendar? Google Oriental Halloween and this is what you find. Was Google invented by you or your kind? Oh, and that... W, W, W. Thank Tim Berners-Lee. He made it for you. Child Geisha costume, twenty nine ninety nine. Are those dollars American or Philippine? Halloweencostumes.com. Ordered online and purchased with rush shipping and it'll arrive just in time for your daughter to do her makeup with yellow face and slanty eyes. I thought geishas were Japanese, bro. They're cold eastern devils. They ain't fucking yellow. I get it. You have questions about my culture. You wonder what alternate options uncover. Is that polyester you're wearing, my friend? Where did that come from? Oops, us again. If this is the rule that we stick to our roots, then why do you all wear those business suits? But you can't live in my skin, so instead of getting to know me, you clone me. My skin tone, my home life, my homies. D homies! Interesting dialect there. An English word with an African flair. According to you, that word doesn't belong on anyone's pedigree thoroughbred tongue. The phonetics of what you project is my grandmother's aesthetics, rejected, old ethnic, regressive conceptions. And unless those are empty hipster frames, I believe you are looking through two glass panes. And I notice your lanterns are not made of paper, and you've had all your pagodas replaced with skyscrapers. Once again, you are welcome. Europe did that. Are you saying that Asia should give it all back? With no credit to accurate portrayals of real presence, it's dope, ain't it, to role play as an Asian geisha or American native or black acting as a thug rapper with an accent you always thought mattered. You are a walking testament to the beauty of pancultural betterment. But let's get this straight. It's okay for you, but not for the victors of World War II. So, you go get it and go wear it. Pass out cold and wake up in it, and you probably know nobody but white men and white women. If I only know white people, then who is left to take offense at this cultural theft? The people observing these photographs? Another invention used on our behalf. But I wake up in this body, and it's not a costume party. You discard and dismiss it. I wrestle with and I live in it. Okay, dude, I just have to say this. What's with the pumpkin? And where is it native? I'm not a costume. My culture's not a fun little hobby you can copy off the rack like slutty Donald Trump and Pizza Rat. Yes, women wear neckties. Perhaps that is wrong, since they don't have to wear that noose all year long. As for the Pizza Rat, who is the victim? The white woman wearing it? Thought so. How fitting. My parents immigrated. The culture was all they had. Chinese American. I stand on my culture like a raft. Are you Chinese or Japanese? When white people can't tell the difference between these, you call us racist. And yet you're here to represent everything east of Kashmir. So it's Titanic. The way my parents rose, but I froze when you asked me to let go of Jack. Isn't there some other reference to do? Like something from Ang Lee or maybe John Woo? Don't wear my culture like a costume. It's not flattering on you. This is not me being hostile. This is me trying to warn you. 
Okay, then it is not racist of me to tell you don't celebrate Halloween. Give me the pumpkin. Give me the candy. Fuck off and celebrate New Year's in February. Whether accurate or not, you'll look like a project made in high school. I will put down the glasses and take off the shirt. Turn off the lights, go live in the outskirts. Don't eat their livestock, don't drink their coffee. Stick to your duck embryos and green tea. I get it. You wonder how the other half lives. I've learned to talk white. You never had to talk chink. But you won't find it at Spirit Halloween for 19.99. Save your money, buy me a drink, and I'll fill you in about our lives. A drink, you say? Well, mine's a whiskey. Oh, my mistake. That's actually Chinese. And it turns out my hat, like so many things finer, is pure polyester <laughs> and made in China.